Hello family, we thank God for today. We bless him for his goodness. As we continue to lift up China before the Lord, today I want to pray for prisoners. Irrespective of the reason why they're in prison. But before I pray, my passage of scripture for today is Matthew chapter 25 verse 36. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Father, this is the word that Lord God Almighty you reminded me of today. When Jesus, or oh God Almighty, shared this word, he was trying to let the, or explaining, making the disciples know that one of the things that God Almighty will be judged on when we all stand before you one day is that, Lord, you would consider how we clothed the naked, how we were there to provide supports for those that were, uh, were sick and how we engaged and supported people in prison. Father, Lord God, there are many prisoners in China, just as there are in any other nation. However, Father God Almighty, as you laid this on my heart and I did a bit of research, I was surprised and maybe rightly so, bearing in mind China has got a population of a billion plus, that it has the highest ranking in terms of population in prison, over one million people in prison. Father God, for anyone that has joined me as we lift up China to you and is listening and is standing in agreement, many of us, O oh Lord God, may never have been to China. Many of us may never even set foot in China. And even if we were in China, maybe, Lord God Almighty, the rules and conditions relating to prison visits may be, mean that, Lord, we may not be able to even visit a prison in China, even if we would desire to do so. But we thank you that, Lord God, through our prayer, we can stand with those in prison in China. And so today, Lord, I just want to firstly thank you, God, for the lives of every individual person in prison in China. You know all of them by name. For when they were formed in their mother's wombs, Lord God, you are the one who caused them, Father God Almighty, to come into existence. Lord God Almighty, your word says that our days are numbered and so you know their days, Lord God Almighty. When they were born, they probably never imagined that they will find themselves in prison. But Lord God, you who knows the end of a thing from its beginning. Lord God, your eyes have always been upon them, whether they know that to be true or not. For Lord God, you hold the whole world in your hands, Lord God. And Lord, you behold all peoples, Father God, on the face of this earth, not only those that are dear to your hearts, because they have been redeemed with the precious blood of Jesus. So, Father, today, I thank you, Father God, for your mercy, for any kindness, any love and care that, Lord, you have given to these prisoners. I want to give you glory, for we know that every good and perfect gift comes to us from heaven above. For starters, that they have life. It is a miracle. It is a great blessing that money cannot buy. And so, Lord, we just want to thank you for their lives. And I praise you and I glorify you, Father God, for some of them, they may have gone through so much torture, whether it be mentally, whether it be physically. But Lord, by your grace, Father God, for many of these people, if they are alive and well, it is because you have kept them. So for the blessings you've bestowed upon them that they themselves are aware of, we want to say thank you. For that which you've bestowed upon them that they may not even know, we want to say thank you. But today, as I lift up these prisoners to you, Lord, I'm asking that in your mercy, Lord, behold their plight, Father God. And Father God Almighty, enable them, Lord, to know love, compassion, mercy and kindness. 
Whichever way you choose, O God, to demonstrate these things that I've asked for to them, Lord God, I ask that you will do it, Lord. For some of them, Lord God, they may have felt, O God, or feel deserted by their family. For some of them, they may not even, O God Almighty, have rights to visits, Lord. So for those people who, O God, feel isolated, deserted, I just pray that, Jesus, you would walk into prison cells and you will visit these people. And your Holy Spirit, O God Almighty, will minister to them that, Father God, you will revive their spirits, any broken spirit you be revived by your supernatural power in the name of Jesus. And that God Almighty, those that Lord need to know your love, your mercy, your grace. But Father God cannot even, O Lord God, have access to scriptures, to the gospel. Hearing the gospel, Father God Almighty, you have a way of causing, Father God, even the person in the most remotest place to hear you, to encounter you. So today... I am reminded, Father God, of when your word tells us that Moses, Father God, was up on this mountain and you showed up in the form of a flaming, of, of a fire, the burning bush. And somehow through that, Lord, you drew his attention. You spoke to him and that changed the trajectory of the rest of his life. So, Father God Almighty, if you did it for Moses, you're able to do it for every prisoner in China, for people to supernaturally come to the saving knowledge of Christ, to supernaturally receive revelation, Lord God, that would give them hope, that will bring restoration into their lives, Father God Almighty, a new beginning, Father God Almighty, that would cause them, O oh God, to be translated from the kingdom of darkness and brought into your marvelous kingdom of light. So, Father, today, I ask that you do this, Lord God Almighty, for prisoners in China, I also ask that God, where reforms needs to be made, Father God, for them to be able, Father God Almighty, to receive humane treatment in those prisons, Lord God, by your supernatural power. Again, let reformation come, Father God Almighty, to the way prisoners are treated in, in, even in China. For those, of oh God, that are there, Father God, because they've been falsely accused or perhaps, Father God, they've been given um, sentences, Father God, that is not reasonable. I just pray that again, you will show yourself strong upon, on their behalf because you're a God of justice and you hate any form of injustice. So anyone, oh God Almighty, who needs your supernatural power to enable them receive justice, Lord God, may you show yourself strong and may you show up for them. May you raise up advocates, Father God Almighty, and there may be some, so many that are advocating for people in prison, but except you grant them supernatural favor, except you protect them on every side, Father God, they may not succeed, Father God Almighty, in seeing the outcomes that they desire. So for those people, whether they be individuals, whether they be institutions, I pray that God, your blessing will be upon the work of their hands. Your blessing, O oh God Almighty, will be upon them so that they will receive supernatural protection and that God you will amplify their voices and that God almighty you because of the supernatural favor that you give them they will be able father God almighty to see outcomes of God take place father God that will be beyond father God human understanding but it shall be attributed to supernatural intervention even for those who do not believe in you Lord I pray that for those of God almighty that are suffering ill health and are, be, are being denied, Father God, access to medical care, may you step in those situations also. Those of God Almighty who need urgent care, otherwise they would lose their lives, Spirit of the living God, may you send angelic warriors, Father, to fight on their behalf, Father, and that as angels minister to them, Lord, you will just bring them supernatural help, timely help, Father God, that they will not needlessly lose their lives in Jesus' name. Father God, 
for those that have been hanging on in hope that one day they will be released, maybe because they were promised that they will be there by a certain time and the time is drawing nigh and they're holding on, whereas perhaps their health is failing and so many other things may be going on that may be indicating that perhaps they will never live to see their freedom. I just pray that Spirit of the living God, you will supernaturally back them, supernaturally equip them, Father, with strength, with fortitude, whatever they need so that God that which they have desired to see, they will see freedom. They will experience freedom walking out, oh God, of those prisons, Lord God, by your mercy. Mighty God, do an amazing thing in the lives of these prisoners in China and bring supernatural reform, that those who need character change, as you're moving in that, in those prisons, as I've prayed today, and several other people might be praying, Lord, let them be changed. Let them become new creations in Christ Jesus. Or somehow, even if they can't, do not accept Christ, Lord God, you have a way of causing an individual to be able to have certain moral values that they can live by. And so, Father, I pray that you'll give them a change of mindset, Lord, a rethinking, a rewiring of their thinking, oh God, of their perception of their lives. So that, Father God, as you bring many of these out of prisons, particularly if they were guilty of any crime, Father, that they will not come out to reoffend, but that, God, they will come out, Lord God Almighty, with a determination to walk a new path and your supernatural grace and power will enable them to do so. Lord God, may you raise up so many prison staff or people that are involved in, 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 in that sector who work in that sector. Give them a heart of compassion, a heart of kindness, a heart of love like they've never done before so that God where there needs to be change in attitudes in the way these staff of God Almighty deal and conduct themselves. Father God, that those changes will come about. I give you glory. I give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. We're now going to go over our memory verse. In Romans 8, verse 31. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? We're personalizing it by saying, because God is for me, no one can be against me. The Lord bless you and I look forward to sharing with you tomorrow. In Jesus name. Amen.